red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, gold, and silver, black, and white. Now the consistency of the red, see how it pulls? You want it like that. And you see how let me get it. the consistency of the orange, see how it pulls? Basically the same. All right? Yellow, same. But if you notice, yellow is very translucent. It doesn't keep a color. So what you would do with the yellow is you add white. Okay? The white will make your yellow yellow, but also give it a nice sturdy consistency so that it works better. So there would be your yellow. Same with green. Green is, green is a hard one. There's some greens that work beautifully, but um, this one does not. So I'm just going to add a little white to that. And that just allows your color to set. Now you can go in and use this green and this green together while you're painting, and this green will be your predominant green, okay? Now, if you see this blue, see how it's blobby? Okay, so you would go in with your water and you would mix it down to the consistency of the red and the orange, okay? Now, that is how it goes. Look at this, see how it's all, now it's all nice and good. Don't ever try to, to paint with the same, with that, with that thick blue, okay? Because it's just never gonna work. You're gonna have just this horrible hard time. So, so here is the, that, okay, now the purple. The purple is really, really thick, so I wanted to give you a real thick one, okay? Now you just work it. Just work it, work it, work it. Get it nice and thin down to where it's the consistency of the red, okay? You can do it. And then um, here's the thing. The blue and the purple, you would keep some of it out as its true color, but you want to add the white into it and then you'll have the perfect purple with the perfect consistency because the white really gives it a nice grab so it'll grab your colors and if you notice this is the purple that I used for the aliens and this is the purple and I just work it until it's the perfect consistency and sometimes I find a purple that's the perfect perfect consistency but I don't ever really look uh, just for one brand because I never know what I'm going to get and so here's the blue and if I can work my own colors and I can make anything work for me then I can do anything anywhere I don't have to rely on having to have you know apple barrel all the time and if I don't get it nothing's gonna work you know I just make it work and so that's what I get with those okay <laughs> With silver, I like ones that are boingy, you know. I don't like the ones that, 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 that bleed. Um, the, this one is folk art, and it, it's kind of easy to find, so I try to look for it first. But if I don't find that and I'm out, then I'll use something in a pinch. But I usually go to folk art. So they make a good silver. So that, that is for that. And then the gold. The gold, gold is easy to work with. It's always so manageable. It's always so yummy. So this one is good, okay. Then the black and white always are good. Just, um, you know, the regular ones. I try to buy the black and white in big bottles. Okay, with my uh, colors ready, I'm going to show you leaves. I'm going to take my favorite brush. Okay. I'm going to go in with green, mix it, go in with yellow, mix it, and then you can see how my brush is loaded, okay? I am going to push and pull. And that is a leaf. Now if I want to make a bigger leaf, I'm going to push and pull. Then I'm going to go in again. See how much paint I have? Push and pull, push and pull. Now if you didn't have a, um, a large base down here, you're just going to get a really funky line. It's just going to be like like let's say for example, let me use one of my little brushes and try this, okay? It's, it, it, it doesn't, you have to draw it then, you have to go around like this, you know, with the littler brushes, you have to draw them. But if you just have a longer brush, you just have two strokes and you want to get it down to where you stroke and stroke. There we go. Stroke and stroke. Stroke and stroke, stroke and stroke and stroke. Okay, that's how you want to do it. 
<clears throat> okay, now a good a good striper. Okay, here's my striper. Uh oh, it has a bunch of soap in it. Okay. A good striper, we go through and we get a, it really loaded up. Okay, now remember it has a big butt on it, so it, has, it holds a lot of paint. Okay, then I can go around and around and I, and I can pull and, and it'll go anywhere I want it to go, you know, like this. Whereas the boingy one, the stripper, it, see how it doesn't even go into the, the brush? now. It will see how it doesn't it, it pulls up off of the paper so so you want it to to um, not do that you need you need you need like some push and pull so so fill your striper brush before you buy it make sure that you can pull it and pull it and push I'm going to mix a pink and with the same stroke I am going to make leaves but they're going to go the opposite direction right about three quarters of the way up I'll add like a lighter and darker red like that and then with the oh, too wet okay then with the red 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 I would go all the way in the center with the red okay all the same brush Okay, and um, then with a smaller brush, if you wanted to go back in, of course when this is dry, it's way easier, it's way easier to tell you, but we don't have that right now, we don't have time for that. So, then with your little tiny short little stump brush, your daughter, then you go in, and dot, 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 okay, with your striping brush, you want to load your brush up with black, okay? And it will look like this, nice and thick with black. And with your brush, you would push and pull up. With your brush, you push and pull up. With your brush, you push and pull up. Push, pull up. Push, pull up, pull up. Push, 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 pull up. Push, 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 push. Pull, pull, pull up. Pull up, push, pull up, and then you go backwards and pull up, push, pull up. It's all the way that you push and pull your brush. Okay? And then that way you're not painting every single stripe. The brush is painting it for you and you need a good striper brush but I want to show you right here okay with my trusty with my trusty brush here we go my pink one okay um, I'm gonna go in and with the same brush I'm gonna push and pull up push and pull up see I can make this one work in a pinch if if I have to so 
you can't they can't say that you only can use one brush because you cannot I mean you can you can use anything but you have to learn how to work your brush so that it goes where you want it to go